Yeah, 1.30 kickoff on Sunday. Crystal Palace face Chelsea. Chelsea won just one of the last nine away games. That was against Maccabi Tel Aviv 4-0 in the Champions League. Even money, Chelsea, 12-5 the draw. 5-2 Palace. It could be a good game for Palace. They like to play on the counter-attack. Yeah, um, I think because of the nature of Chelsea and Gus Hiddink wanting to make an impact there, this may be so they can almost play like the away team. Palace are at their best away from home because of the nature of when teams come on to them. They're, they're, they're devastatingly quick on the counter-attack. Talk of Blassie being back, maybe Conor Wickham back as well, um, which is a big boost. Haven't yet sort of found that. Wickham or anyone has found that goal score. If they do, Palace have got a great, it sounds bizarre, but have got a great chance of being in the top four. And I tipped them right at the start of the season to finish in the top eight because I, th I think they've got great players. I think it's a very difficult game for, for Chelsea. I really do. Um, and I fancy if Chelsea get the lead, I think it's a, a difficult game for Palace, if you know what I mean. But I like what I've seen from Hazard the other day. I thought he was excellent. Really thought, and Matic played, thought they were the best two players for Chelsea. And I wonder whether they'll have an influence. But in terms of who's going to win the game, I think this is a massive atmosphere at, you know, really, Sellers Park. I fancy another upturn. I think I, fanc I fancy um, Palace to nick this 2-1. I really do. I think they've just got enough to score goals against Chelsea. Yeah, so Ian thinks that more misery piled on Chelsea fans. He fancies Palace to win 2-1. 5-2 for the match. The Eagles 12-5 the draw. Even money Chelsea. That's your 1.30 kick-off on Sunday at Sellers Park.